What is join? The SQL joins clause is used to combine records from two or more tables in a database. A join is a means for combining fields from two tables by using values common to each. How to implement join in ODI? For implementing joins in ODI, first you need to log in in ODI and then click on the designer navigator. Then expand first folder. Here you will find interface. Right click interface and select new interface. It will open pop up form and then provide details name and optimization context as shown below. Now after providing name and context click on the mapping tab. So, what is mapping? Mappings are the logical and physical organization of your data sources, targets, and the transformations through which the data flows from source to target. What is mapping document? ETL mapping documents contains source, staging area, target and the business rules information and it is most important document for the developer. And below is my mapping document which contains following information and add other information from your own site as well. 1. Source table. 2. Source column. 3. Staging table. 4. Staging column. 5. Target table. 6. Target table column. 7. Expression. Below is my source table data. Below is my target table structure. Below is my mapping sheet. How to do mapping in ODI? For doing mapping just drag and drop source and target table and then manually drag each column of source onto column of target. This way we can do manual mapping. If your source and target columns are same then ODI will automatically ask for automatic mapping. Just click yes and ODI will perform automatic mapping and if you click no then you have to do manual mapping. How to create joins in ODI? For creating joins you need to drag and drop two tables on source and then in which column you want joins just drag that column in another table having Matching column which is in source part only is shown below. Selecting knowledge module. Now click on the flow tab. Here you will have to select knowledge module. Just click on the target diagram. It will open target properties window and select. IKM SQL incremental update and set flow control option to false and trunk it. Option to true as shown below. Executing interface. After selecting knowledge module, click save button and then execute interface as shown below. Status of execution. To view the status of execution click on the operator navigator and then expand on the all executions. Here you will find the status of execution. If it shows green color that means success and if red that means error so bug what went wrong and if status shows yellow color that means warning, you can view more from my below shown image. Viewing the background process. Below I am showing background process. Required output. To view the required output right click target underscore employee and select data. It will open pop-up window which shows the output as shown below. For training, support and consulting inquires. Call us, India, plus 91-997-799-7254. USA, plus 1-772-228-6064. Mail, training at bispsolutions.com www.bispsolutions.com Training at bispsolutions.com